I know. Uh, let's talk about the Los Angeles Lakers. Russell Westbrook's heating up. Anthony Davis actually looks like Anthony Davis, and someone told this man to stop shooting the ball from outside the three-point line. And, fuck. This is a team that really, uh, there, there are a few. They got Austin Reeves, AK, AK-15. Yeah. Oh, AR-15? AR-15, yeah. AR-15. Yeah. They got Lonnie some pieces. Walker. Lonnie Walker, Dennis yeah. Schroeder. Pat yeah, Babs is also... Going. A trade guy. Pat oh, Bev sucks. Oh, screw you. I liked that. Did you I that love Pat Bev, but love he's been supposedly so a name much. that they're floating around. This is like, <laughs> what? I hate the Phoenix Suns so much. Or I don't hate the Phoenix Suns, but they frustrate me so much so often. This MF, Devin Booker, fouls Austin Reeves blatantly in the goddamn face. It was blatantly... Hits Austin Reeves in the face, acting like he blocked it when he got off base, and walks and stands right on over him. Get the hell out of here. You, you just followed an undrafted player. Congratulations. Do you want a prize? Well, too bad, because someone will be in the finals if you get there. I don't know what to tell you, but, man, the Lakers are good, dude. I really liked, actually, when they were playing the Spurs and Russ got that hit on the head and LeBron father you know was like the first guy grabbed the towel from the assistant and just put that on his head and you know had his arm around him he's like, LeBron's father yeah you no know, LeBron's a father like his father came out and I think LeBron's father you no know, LeBron's a father and his father came out in him when Russ got hurt and you know nurtured him back to health and I just think that things are clicking for him I love Ross off of the bench. I love what he's doing. The Lakers are must-watch basketball every night as much as people don't want to say. You're witnessing history. 39-year-old LeBron freaking James every night. This man, name me one other 39-year-old who can give me 35, 8, and 7 on any given night because the answer is nobody. So I like the Lakers, man. I think um, Facundo might be interesting if they were to, like, they'd probably have to trade away somebody like – you know, maybe none. I kind of want to keep Bev on the team because yeah. I think they need guys like that who are going to stick up for your teammates. I think they're bonding again, and it's um, it's cool to watch. But obviously, they have their holes. They got their flaws. So, we'll see. Lemetic, exactly. Lemetic, that's hilarious. So, <laughs> this is a team that, yeah, I really do believe. I'm not going to say, buddy. I think the best trade out there is probably Josh Richardson. Josh, uh, Josh Richardson. In like, Why are we trading Russ now? I never said trade Russ. No, no, we're just... <laughs> Josh, Ru- I'm pretty sure you could pass Jidge. You can get yourself Jakob Pertl and Josh Richardson for Kendrick Nunn and Pat Bev. You're a freaking delusional Lakers fan. No, salary no wise. No pick involved in that? Yes, pick involved. <laughs> you didn't let me finish. I, I was trying to decide <laughs> if it was be one or two. <laughs> Like, you know, that TikTok meme where it's like, I have an offer for you. I get Yaka Pirtle and Josh Richardson. <laughs> you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> well, if, if Rob Palenka can pull off that trade, props to him, man. Props to him. I don't think, I don't think. Yaka Pirtle and Josh Richardson 81. for what's up, Mr. 81. Would you do Josh Richardson and Yaka Pirtle and Pat Bev for Pat Bev and Kendrick Nunn? I'll do any trade you want me to do. As one as pick as or two picks? Yes, one pick. I will do that. I will do that. I don't know a single person on the planet out who I don't think would do that. Maybe Rob Palenka. <laughs> Rob Palenka is really stingy with those picks. Rob Palenka is like, stingy. Rob Palenka is long term playing his job. He's like, I ain't thinking about being the best GM for the Lakers. I'm thinking about being the longest. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing, but I Rob guess Palenka is ring. making moves like he's still going to be general manager in 2027 yes. and 2029. Which if I, I was so. Rob Palenka, I'd say fuck the future. I'd get a B here. Yeah. And if I give and if I room. was and if I was, I'm resigning before the day you know LeBron takes, retires or leaves. I resign. What takes care of everything on this planet in sports? Winning. Yes, winning. You got one. Go get another. No one will give a single shit that you don't have a first round draft pick. By that time, superstar Austin Reeves will get like probably three. So they'll be fine. 
I don't I wouldn't go as far to say as they got it because there's levels to this and they're nowhere near, you know, even like Milwaukee. But I think, um, you know, you get LeBron in the playoffs, man. You got a chance. You don't want to play LeBron. Stay healthy. Yeah, I definitely think it's interesting as all hell when you look at this. And what's your favorite? Who, who's somebody that they can go out and get there? I think they should try and get like Kelly Oubre. Kelly Oubre and PJ Washington for Lonnie Walker and Pat Bev. Ooh, I'm not trading Lonnie, but thank you. Call back again when you have a more uh, conservative offer. You don't like that? No, I'm not trading Lonnie Walker. I don't know. No, not Lonnie. Sorry, I'm in Kendrick Nunn and dude. I will Pat trade Bev. you. I will trade you Kendrick Nunn and Pat Bev. I will okay. trade you Kendrick Nunn and Pat Bev for two basketball players, and I'll give you a first for any like legit basketball. Player. Like any, like I will do anything you want to get a trade like that going. Actually. I would literally have PJ Washington and Kelly Oubre, and you. I send you Nunn and Pat Bev, and at most I send you a pick with it. Yeah, I, I, I might even I, – I think I'd give you a second for it. I don't even think I'd give you a first. I'd give you one because both of their salaries are expiring. Yeah, so that's why I'd give you – well, how about I'll give two seconds. Oh, I thought you meant a second first-round pick. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, I'll give you two yeah, seconds. No, no. Do they have any seconds? Good question. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure no, they don't, don't have any other picks right. except those two first-rounders. I'll give you cast consideration. I would do cash consideration. Yeah. I think what is it the most you can trade? Three million? Whatever Jordan Bell. Yeah. Wasn't Jordan Bell sent for the most expensive cash consideration? Cash considerations. That was so funny. Bulls fans put our they put cash considerations on a jersey as the name. That was a confusing move at the time, but it ended up working out. I like Jordan Bell a lot, but I couldn't tell you what he's up to right now. So worked out. Jordan Bell. During the draft, the Bulls picked Bell and later traded him to the Warriors for $3.5 million. That's wild. Manage the heat. What do you mean by manage the heat, baby? It's 84 degrees outside. No, manage the Miami heat, you jackass. Oh, yeah. We'll buy out FTX because of that shit show and we'll call it the NBA show arena. Dude, Jordan Bell, is he a beast? Is he a beast? I think Jordan Bell got fat. Oh. That sucks. I was rooting for him. 